Welcome to a code report solution video for the 2021 advent of code day three problem B. If you haven't seen problem 3A already, I will link in the top right and in the description down below. I recommend you go check that one out first. And 3B, at least for array languages like APL, is definitely the most difficult problem so far. And we're going to try and do this quickly. So spoiler, I've already solved this not live. So this is the first advent of code video for 2021 that I'm not sort of solving live in front of you. And that's because I had to think about it quite a bit. Um, it's similar to the first problem. We're given this matrix of zeros and ones. And instead of doing what we did in the first video, where we basically just look at one column at a time and identify the most common or least common uh, number in terms of it being a one or a zero, we're going to iteratively do this one column at a time. And then for the, um, I guess we have sort of oxygen generator rating, we'll call, the, call this OGR and CO2 scrubber rating. We've got sort of these two different things and we're determining the most common and then keeping those rows. Um, and if you have a zero or one, you want to keep the one. And then for CO2 scrubber rating, uh, you want to keep the least common, and if you have equally common values, then you're going to want to keep the zero. And so you have to iter iteratively do this column by column until you're only left with sort of one row, and then you want to convert that uh, into base 10 from base 2, and then multiply those two numbers. So that might be all a little confusing, but let's just hop into the ride editor and dive into it and see if, if we can solve this. And this is going to sort of be a bit hacky um, in terms of uh, comparing it with the other solutions where we had these nice functions. We're just going to try and solve this sort of in the ride editor here. So once again, we've got data and here are zeros and ones. And basically, we're going to sort of do something similar to what we did before. And that is that, except first, we're actually going to mix this, if I type this correctly. And then we're going to do... Uh, reduction as follows, which is similar to the column wise reduction. But here we want to uh, sort of disclose this to get rid of that box. And then we're going to put this in parentheses. And then what we want to do is filter out. Uh, so I guess first we want to get the first item here. And we'll hard code this to pick out. So here you see if we want to pick the first one, we can just use first, or we also can pick the first element. And we're going to do this because for the subsequent iterations, we're going to want to pick the second one, and then we're going to want to pick the third one, etc. And so we'll leave this sort of hard coded at one. I wonder actually if we can even do this. And, and now let's not do that for now. Let's just hard code it to one. And then once we've done this, we want to check to see, and actually let's just put this all in a defund to make this as easy as possible. Um, so if we do this, we should get seven still. And then we want to check, uh, is, the, is this greater than right? So we want to do our uh, two times and then check to see if uh, the tally, in this case, it's going to be uh, I believe greater than or equal to based on sort of the tie breaks. Um, so I think this is correct. And then from here, we want to check um, is the first element of each, and actually it's, yeah, so it's going to be one pick uh, of each of our data, which is going to be omega. So how are we actually doing this? We are, so we have one and now we want to check if which rows have the first element equal to one. So we want to see, is this equal? And we go one composed with pick over omega. And let's see if that is correct. So. Yeah, that looks correct. Basically, it's sort of the, the first row in this case, or the first column in this case, which looks like it does match. So we have this now. And basically, at this point, we want to filter. Um, and we can use compress in order to filter out the rows. And we need to swap the order because we want the Boolean mask on the left, which is what's been calculated here. And then we just want our nested list here. So if we do this, 
we should then end up with oh, that was once again I always mix those ones up we should end the end up with only the rows that have a one at the beginning so this is essentially what we want to do for each column now so we want to repeat this on uh, the second column now the third column and you can see now so there's four zeros and only three ones in the second column so basically we want to find a way to replace this one here with two and then perform it again and the way and this is sort of where the hackiness comes in the way we're going to do this is by taking our data and closing it uh, so let's kind of zoom out a tiny bit and type that again and then we want to because we're going to basically do a reduction we're going to put that defund that we had that was doing the filtering in here dot 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 and then we're going to reduce this over a sequence that starts with this enclosed data and then has one two three four five uh, which we can get by going iota five um, and we need to first uh, concatenate that. So you can see now here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, um, and then our data at the end. So this is gonna sort of be like our initial value. We're doing a reduction, and we're gonna be um, filtering out for each one of our iterations, looking at these indices. Note that in APL, our reductions go right to left. So really, we need to reverse this. Um, so that the first time we filter, we're going to be doing one, and then the second time we filter, we're going to be looking at the second column, and so forth. And then when we switch to our full data, we need to switch this to either tally or just hard code it to 12. We'll probably just hard code it to 12. And if we do this correctly, um, I'm not sure actually if it's supposed to be alpha, omega, but if this works, we should just end up with a single value and if we switch back or a single row if we switch back you can see that for our OGR we should end up with one zero one 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 um, and this happens to work because it's on the final fifth iteration that we end up with one but for the carbon dioxide we're gonna have to actually sort of manually go backwards in order to find the last solution because it ends before the final iteration um, so in order to convert this, we just can flatten it using enlist. It's the same thing of basically doing uh, first, first, or disclose, disclose twice, uh, but it's one less character. And then we can do two decode to get 23, which sure enough is what the decimal conversion of this base two number is. So what we're going to do now, and in order to get, uh, but we'll do that after we get the full data. So let's go back here to get our data. And let's make this full and we go enter and uh, what is happening here so that is because we hard-coded this to 5 but actually the shape of our data has 12 actually we can just show that instead of me just blindly telling you that so we can sell, see we have 12 columns here so hard-coding this to 5 is going to end up with a bunch of rows and then when you're gonna get some huge numbers so if we change this to 12 Ideally, we've got some nice number. So that is our oxygen rating or whatever it's called. And then for our uh, carbon dioxide, we basically all we have to do, I believe, is go and change this uh, great, less than or equal to greater than or vice versa. And however, if we do this, we're going to get zero because, as I mentioned when I was working through this before, um, we've hit We've, we've filtered out all of our numbers by the time we've gotten to the end here. So if you iterate just by basically going backwards to 11, to 10, and then to 9, 9 is basically after 9 iterations we get our number. So it's a bit hacky to do all of this, but I believe if we go 3399 times uh, 1249, we copy and paste this number, we go down we submit and uh, it says you don't seem to be solving the right level because I already completed it well we already submitted this and this is the correct answer so this is a little bit different um, obviously this is probably far from optimal and I would be super curious if any of the uh, folks that work for dialog or any sort of APL experts have a better solution than what I had 
Um, I'd be curious to see it because basically we have we've got this for um, actually this is like what is it? What are they called? Um, actually, we'll just call it CO2 is, is this here. Then we have um, we'll call it oxygen and uh, then it's oxy times C, oh, except I spelled this wrong, C02. And we get the following. So this, I mean, it's not bad, uh, but it's basically complete duplication. And there's some way to probably fold this operator as a parameter or an argument into it. But yeah, if you have a better solution, feel free to post it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. And we will see you in the next video.